Thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. My name is Andrew Jennings. I have a doctoral degree from Arizona State in mathematics. I studied voting systems. I'm a Mesa resident. I'm currently on the board for a national nonprofit, the Center for Election Science, whose goal is to research and educate people about the benefits of better voting systems. But I'm representing myself today. Uh, I support approval voting, and the Center for Election Science supports approval voting as a big improvement over our existing system. Our existing system is called plurality because the person with the most votes wins. And that seems natural. It's what we've always done. But a significant point of our existing voting system is each voter only gets to vote for one candidate, which, which seems natural. But the, the mathematics shows if you actually take away that requirement and let the voters vote for everyone that they approve of, um, that that's actually a much better mathematical way to choose a winner of an election and, and for electing people. Now, the problem is our existing system works great if there's just two candidates, but if there's three candidates or, heaven forbid, four or five serious candidates in a race and you let every voter just vote for one, you have vote splitting effects and you have spoiler effects. Um, the most preferred candidate doesn't always win in these cases. So approval voting is a system that, that was introduced 30 years ago and is the simplest possible way to, to mostly fix these uh, vote splitting problems and spoiler effects. Um, the, uh, the bill Representative Olson has submitted doesn't require any jurisdiction to use approval mm -hmm. voting. Approval voting is currently prohibited by state statute, uh, and the bill will make a, approval voting available to any jurisdiction that chooses to use it, uh, they, uh, just for their nonpartisan municipal election. So it doesn't affect partisan elections or anything. Um, so I ask for your vote today on this permissive bill that will, that will open up the opportunity for cities and municipalities to use a much better voting system. 